All right, guys, so most of us park our cars over the winter just to keep it looking like mint and fresh and no damage to the vehicle. The only problem with that is you get to stare at it every day and then you start finding problems or flaws or things that you want to change about it. So when I stare at the FL5 here, there's something missing about it and I couldn't really pinpoint it until I started looking online and I know what it is that's missing. And I think it should have been done right from the factory. What's up, brother? Special team, special plays, special sticker. All right, guys, so before we start today's vlog, if you look at the older generation uh, Civic Type R's, there's a deco right here. It looks sick, and the FL5 and the FK8 should have had it done straight from the, right from the factory. So I had a friend get one for me, uh, a set of them from Japan, and here it is. Some of you guys have already caught on and actually did it for the FK8 and FL5, and I think it looks phenomenal. And this is it, the genuine Honda sticker. This is the part number. I think you guys should go out and get it and put it on your guys' FL5 and FK8. And uh, let's go ahead and slap this on mine right now. Wow, that looks fantastic, you guys. I think it looks amazing. It should have been done straight from the factory. Okay, let's get today's vlog started. So the FL5 has been out for a little over a year now and a lot of us are actually modifying. Well, not actually, we are modifying them. We don't keep our cars stock. Stock cars are boring. And uh, some of us obviously are taking them onto the track. They're reporting that heat soak and overheating is becoming a problem in the FL5, even though it's not supposed to from factory, but it is. The QD Instruments just recently launched their or release their super cooler reverse flow silicone radiator hoses and these things look and outperform the ugly radiator factory radiator hoses tuesday 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 you gotta say it three times you guys tuesday tuesday <laughs> you get it let's get right into the vlog i'll show you guys what it's these are sick let's get right into the vlog all right, so in this kit, obviously for the FL5 and the uh, new Integra Type S, you get the sil two silicone hoses. You get the, all the clamps, which are really nice. They're, they're pretty nice. The only way the uh, AQD instruments can outdo this is obviously probably making these in like titanium, but these are nice. And then for the Integra Type S and the Honda Civic Type R FL5, uh, there will be a relocation kit for the sen temperature sensor. So this is it here, which will go in here, and then the temperature sensor will go in there, and there is a silicone hose clamp that goes with it, and then the plug for the, where the original temperature sensor uh, would go. You plug this up with it. Pretty straightforward. That's what you get. But uh, these kits are obviously specific for each application. So Acuity Instruments sent out these radiator hoses for me to try out. There's some information that they wanted me to give you or relate to you guys. The kit is basically not one size fit all. So it is meant for certain applications like uh, Civic SIs, Civic Type Rs, and uh, Integra Type S, and then regular Integras. So let me just read out the information because there's a lot of them. So when you want to go order the, the product, or these silicone hoses. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below to Acuity Instruments themselves. Let's just go over the SKUs, make sure you guys order the right ones, okay? So they do have applications for the FK8 Type R, 11th Gen Civic SI, Integra A-Spec, and the obviously the FL5 and the Type S. Here are the SKU numbers. So for the 10th Gen Honda Civic Type R, it is number 1936. And they say don't order it if you have a 10th Gen Civic SI because your radiator flow is totally different. So there's no benefits to it. So that's nice of Acuity Instruments to be pretty clear and upfront about it. Just don't order the FK8 one thinking that it's going to fit for your SI, just, just to be clear. So for the 11th Gen Civic SI and the 5th Gen Integra A-Spec, not the Type S, it will be 1982. Those are the ones you want to order for that one. And for myself, this kit and the 5th uh, Gen Type S, it will be 1986. Just don't, be, uh, don't mix them up when you order it. Uh, again, I'll put it all in the description below. So I'll put it all there for you guys. So nothing's, there's no confusion. So what are the benefits of putting these hoses in? 
let me uh, let me go over that with you guys too, okay? All right, so I know I know I don't want to bore you guys with you know technical information, but trust me, I recorded this like like three times already. I just, I just went and recorded, re-recorded, and that's why it's, uh, this week's vlog has been released a little later because after I watched it, it was it was so boring. So I'm trying to make it more interesting for you guys. So bear with me. So from the factory, the flow of the coolant goes from the top. All the hot coolant goes from the top to the bottom. From the intercooler, all the hot air comes from the left to the right. So there's gonna be a concentration of like hot air and coolant and everything all in here. When the cold air comes in, cools the intercooler, that air is gonna be hot, goes over the uh, AC condenser, and then it's gonna be even hotter, and then it hits the radiator. So realistically, it's not the ideal setup. Rust from Acuity Instruments explains it a lot, lot more in depth. So I'll put that in the link in the description below for you guys to, if you really wanna get really in depth with it, but that's just the gist of it. Hence in the name, reverse flow. Acuity Instruments basically reverse engineered it. Instead of the coolant going from the top to bottom, what they did was they took all the hot from the bottom, took it to the top, see? So basically, you're gonna have hot air going in here and then all the, instead of having hot coolant from the, in the bottom all concentrated, they took it to the top. See, now it's a big gap here. You can see the air, cold air will flow through and wicker that hot coolant uh, out, out of the way. Bear with it, it, it makes sense you guys. It just, if you really, I watched that video so many times and it, it, was, it was boring too. So, so that's just the, low down in within two seconds or five seconds, wherever long it took me to explain it. All right guys, so looking at the engine, so basically it'll, coolant will flow from the engine to the radiator, radiator down, obviously supposedly get cooled, and then back up into the thermostat, thermostat opens up, coolant goes back, cooler coolant goes back into the engine. So Acuity Instruments did the opposite. So they, what they did was they went from the thermostat to the radiator, radiator down, and then back up. So that's, just let me just show you. It looks something like, 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 like that, like that. Hard to see, but uh, yeah, and it looks good too. All right, so for some of you guys that are wondering the performance or the efficiency of the uh, Acuity Instruments uh, silicone hoses, just go to their website and click on the uh, your guys' application for your specific vehicle, and you can read about it. It's hard to pinpoint because each car is totally different. Like some guys will have an upgraded intercooler or a different intake or it's just stuff like that. It's hard to give you an exact number. So just go to their page, click on your application and then uh, you'll get a better reading or better understanding on that. Thank you uh, Acuity Instruments uh, for sending me out these uh, radiator hoses to install. We will do, be doing that another day. Again, thank you to them. Thank you, brother. And uh, look forward to installing these. They will look pretty sick on the FL5. Hope you guys, uh, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the vlog and I didn't bore you guys too much with all the technical information, but everything will be in the description below. Go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and order your set of silicone hoses. Um, every, every little thing helps, when, especially when you're gonna modify these cars. And don't lie to yourself saying that you're not gonna modify them. So enjoy the ride, you guys. See you guys in the next week's vlog. Sorry it took me a little longer on this to release this vlog, but We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. What's up, brother?